Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here and you just popped on because you are looking up how to Dutch braid your own hair. Hi, my name is Sienna Franks. I typically film anything that has to do with motherhood, mommy vlogging. I have a three-year-old named Natalia. She's not going to be in this video, but just thought I'd introduce myself in case you feel like you're vibing with me. You can watch one of my normal videos, I typically just do day in the life vlogs and occasionally a little cleaning video, just, you know, whatever I'm feeling. But today I am going to be filming a how to Dutch braid your own hair tutorial, I guess you'll say. I wear my hair in Dutch braids a lot just because it's really easy to get all my hair out of my face. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. It's very thick, very long kind of frizzy this is i worked out pretty hard today and this i then i took a shower and blow dried my hair and it is pretty frizzy i have a ton of hair i'm not <laughs> i am not joking with you guys but that's just that's just how it is but anyway i love dutch braids because it's just a really quick it's quick for me it's a quick way to get all my hair out of my face and i still feel cute i don't know i love dutch braids so the difference for Dutch braids as much, or as far as I feel like, rather than French braids, is Dutch braids to me look like they are like on your head. I feel like French braids look like they're like under, like, I don't know, and Dutch braids kind of look like they're on top. So I don't know, I really like the Dutch braid look. It's like what the Kardashians do, they do Dutch braids, not French braids. Um, but I have a hard time doing Dutch braids on other people but on myself, it's the only thing I can do. I cannot French braid my own hair. So anyway, I've gotten a lot of requests to do this, so I'm gonna show you guys how I Dutch braid. I'm not a professional, I'm not a hairstylist. I am not claiming to be a professional with this, but this is just how I do it. So without further ado, let's get rid of this lion's mane and get me some Dutch braids going on. As I had already said, I just washed my hair. I blow dried it. For the most part, it's pretty dry. It, I have a lot of hair, like I've already said. So it's pretty, It's there's just a lot of hair here. It's a little damp, but for the most part, it is dry. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you guys what I use, I guess, when I'm Dutch braiding. I use, first, I run this through my hair. Um, you can use whatever you want. Again, I'm not a professional, but this is just what I use. This is the Garnier Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. So I just felt a couple squirts of that. And I literally, I mostly run it through the bottom, like half of my hair. And then for sure the ends, I leave the ends out of my Dutch braids anyway, but you know, just for good measure. So I run that through. Try to really get it in there. Okay, and then I have this. This is so cute. This is so much hair. Okay, and then I just brush it out. I just, I have this round brush with me right now. So that's what I'm using. And if you see me look this way over here, I have a mirror right here for when I part my hair. I'll be able to see it better. Ow! Don't be like me. Don't hurt yourself while you're Dutch braiding. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush my hair like all the way back, like from the middle. Okay. Then you can take a comb or whatever you have. I have this teasing hairbrush that I like never use. I just use it for the tip right here. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna make a perfect center part if you want yours like to the side. I know some girls like it to the side or I've seen some people do like a zigzag part. That's pretty cute. I'd maybe do that to my three year old. But oh. <laughs> And then I try to just meet it in the back and then pull it. And then that's cute. And then I'll separate it and see and then I'll check and see if I like how it is. It's pretty straight, so I'll just keep it. And then I'll just do this a little bit on the top. And then I'll brush it out again. It's a lot of brushing out, huh? <laughs> okay, so once, once I have my hair in these two parts, I just decide which part I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna do this side first because it's easier for me. So I'm gonna take this part 
and you can either like put it in a in a braid or you can put it I just like get it out of the way and I just leave this out so I'm just gonna twist it now I have this one section of hair all brushed out I have some serum in it and it's just like this okay then this is so hard to explain actually I look can we just take a moment this is really cute okay so I just kind of like brush it back the biggest tip that I can give is to make sure when you're grabbing your hair to go up like put this your opposite arm like up so that you can keep it going this way because if you go this way like your arm under your braid's gonna be like on this side and I don't I mean if that's how you want it then do it that way but I like it like going going down okay so I zoomed you guys in a little bit I hope that will maybe help so I just take from like, sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm trying to make sure what I'm showing you guys is right because I'll typically look at myself in the mirror the entire time that I'm doing this, which I think also helps. So here we go. I take it from like up here and up to here. This is my first piece. And again, see how my arm is up here, not doing it this way, I'm doing it this way. And I pull the rest to the back because your girl gets hot, first of all. And then I make the three parts. Oh, that was too little. Okay, still too little. I'm gonna look in the mirror real quick. Okay, that's better. And then, so you just make the three sections, like if you are just gonna braid. Oops, I almost started. Oh, it's habit. So you just have your three sections, as you can see right there. One, two, and three. Just like if you're actually just doing a normal braid, you need your three sections. Okay, so then what I do is I start with the section that is on the park, like this closest section. And what you're gonna do, the only thing that's really different than a French braid or regular braid is instead of going over the middle piece, you go under the middle piece. So I'm gonna take that first this section. Sorry, I gotta re-grab everything. I didn't do anything yet. I was just losing my grip. Taking that first piece by my part and going under the middle piece and then re-grab everything. And now this is where I do something different. I take the far piece, the piece furthest over here, if you guys can see, and I put it under the middle again and then I drop that new far piece. So I drop this piece. So now I'm only holding two pieces, which for me makes it a lot easier to do. Okay, so then you're just gonna do like what you would typically do with French braid. Grab more from under, from the part that's by your part and add it to that piece that's by your part. Make sure it's all good and not tangly and put it under that middle piece and then grab it tight. And then sometimes I'll have to like re-grab to make sure I'm doing it right. And then I pull this side, and now I need a third piece because I had let it go, remember? So I just grab some of this hair right here. Grab it, make sure it's all untangly, and put it under the middle. And now this is my new side, so I drop it, if that makes sense. I'm gonna keep doing that. So now I go back to this side by the part, grab more hair, Add it to that section, make sure it's not tangly, take it under that middle piece. And then I just re-attach my grip, again pulling that piece, I'm gonna, ooh, sorry guys, I'm going to turn sideways a little bit. So I grab more, because this is the piece I always let down, and then I make sure it's not tangly, and I put it under the middle, and then drop that piece okay grab more from the part add it to that section under the middle and pull tight and again on this side have there's no piece over here so you just grab some to make your piece no tangles under the middle and then drop that one now that's the new side ok 
Okay, I'm gonna turn around and I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that super well, but I just did like a few more braids going the same way and then I pull it all to the front and then I re-grab it in the front. Oh, I'm losing my piece. Got a whole piece, oh no. This actually happens a lot where I feel like I lost my piece. Okay, and once you re-grab in the front, then you can just braid as normal as far down as you would like. And then secure it with a hair tie. I'm using one of my three-year-old hair ties. And then I leave like a lot out at the end just because I want it to be able to be pretty straight and not super curly. And then there is that side and then I'll like grab some pieces out if I want it to be a little messier. And then I'll typically straighten these but for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do that right now. And then there's one. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then I do the same thing on this side. Make sure this hand on the opposite side is up, not under, because then your braid will go this way. Make sure it's up so the braid will go back, unless, like I said earlier, you want it to go to the side. Then that's fine. But I think I'm gonna turn to the side for this whole side of a braid, just so you guys can see the side of you. Um, but yeah, okay, here we go. And again, I do the same thing. I leave the one piece down all the time so that you, you can have a better grip. And then I just secure that one with an elastic as well. And there there are two Dutch braids. Again, I'll just pull these out. In fact, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go straighten these couple pieces real quick. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. I hear my daughter waking up from her nap. But anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I just straightened those couple pieces like I said. Um, I'll give you guys a I'll turn around and give you a little 360 here and a couple pictures maybe or something like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps like i said i'm not a professional but i did get a lot of questions on how i do my hair like this so i just wanted to show you guys for the people who asked also i will go in and do a little hairspray especially if i want to make sure that my flyaways aren't going crazy and um if i want to make sure that i'm gonna have some good curls in the next couple days here i will literally leave my hair like this for like three days in the same dutch braids that i've done i'll work out in it i'll get my life done you feel me it's just a really good way to get my hair out of my dang face so if you need a hairstyle to get your hair out of your face i recommend you guys try this but i promise you will get it if you just keep 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 trying it took me quite a long time to figure out how to keep doing it and how to be on my own hair and like making sure i'm going under the middle instead of over the middle that's the biggest tip i can give you 
is to keep reminding yourself to always go under the middle not over the middle when you're doing a dutch braid and then it'll be perfect it'll take you a couple times but i know you guys will love it if you try it please if you do it let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you maybe post a picture on instagram and say that i helped you out but anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope it was kind of informative please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss out when i post next and i will um see you guys in the next one Bye.